Okay, let's discuss about compare exchange function. Compare exchange can be considered as one of the cornerstone operation in the atomic realm. So throughout this section, we will use this compare exchange operation extensively for synchronization purpose. Now let's see what we can do with the compare exchange operation. There are two compare exchange function, compare exchange weak and compare exchange strong. We will discuss the difference between these two later in this video. But for now, consider both to be same. So both compare exchange operation will compare the value of the atomic variable with the supplied expected value. If they are same, it will store the supplied desired value to the atomic variable. If the atomic variable and the expected value is not equal, the expected value will be updated with the actual value of the variable. And this compare exchange function will return true if the store to the atomic variable is performed successfully. Otherwise, it will return false. Now let's see the compare exchange function in action using example. Now in this example, first I have construct the atomic integer variable called x with the value 20. Now I am going to call compare exchange weak function on this x variable. And for this compare exchange weak function, I have set 20 as the expected value. And for the desired value, I have used 6. Now notice that the our expected value is same as the value in the atomic variable. Now let's run this example and see what is the outcome. Now as you can see from this outcome, the operation has successfully completed. This is because we have used same value for the expected value as our original x variable. And of course, after completion of this operation, our current x value has been updated with the desired value. In this case, after this operation, our x contains value 6. Now let me change the expected value and see what is the outcome. So here let me change this value to 10. Okay, let's run this example again. Now in this case, you can see that the return of the compare exchange weak is false because we have used 10 as the expected values. So that value is different than the x. So in this case, you have to notice that our expected value has been changed to 20 now because previous expected value is 10. That's what we said in this statement. But after compare exchange weak function, the current expected value has changed to 20. This is because as we discussed in our slides, if the expected value is different than the x variable, that expected value will be updated with the our atomic variables value. That's what happened here. So our expected value has been updated to 20 and also our current x value is also 20. That's how compare exchange function works. So what is the difference between compare exchange weak and the compare exchange strong? Now the compare exchange weak does not guarantee the successfulness of the operation even if the expected value is equal to the atomic variable. Now this is most like to happen on a machine that lack of single compare and exchange instruction. So if that machine does not have single compare exchange instruction, that processor will not be able to guarantee the atomicity of the operation. Therefore, compare exchange weak can be fail even though the expected value is same as our atomic variable value. But on the other hand, compare exchange strong guaranteed to be atomic and return success if the variable value is equal to the expected value. So to give this guarantee, compare exchange strong may use more instruction. So if we do not need this extra guarantee, in such cases, we should use compare exchange weak because of the performance. So that's how compare exchange weak and compare exchange strong function works. And that's it for this video. Thank you.